Have you ever heard of the echidnopus? Probably not, as it's one of three new monotreme species that have been unveiled by paleontologists today. Now, the fossils that are around 100 million years old were found in Lightning Ridge in New South Wales, making this the most diverse monotreme site on Earth. And Professor Chris Helgen led the study. He is the Chief Scientist and Director of the Australian Museum Research Institute and joins us now in the studio. Professor Helgen, thank you for coming in. Uh, now, these fossils, they were from Lightning Ridge, as we just heard, but they were in a drawer that just so happened to be opened. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, well, you have to realise that at a place like the Australian Museum, behind the scenes, we have these phenomenally large collections mm -hmm. of natural science objects. So things can go overlooked for a, a while. These were actually um, excavated, unearthed at Lightning Ridge about 20 odd years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, they came to us and it was only fairly recently we got a chance to take a close look and realize what these really are. Mm. Tell us about the huge leap that this is. This is a really exciting story and it's a quintessentially Australian story. Animals like our platypus and echidna, where do they come from? This is a huge piece of that chapter. So age of the dinosaurs, 100 million years ago, what we've reported is three new kinds of egg-laying mammals, all in very sort of different size and shapes. Mm. We knew from Lightning Ridge, from previous opal fossils, about three other species already, three egg-laying mammals. So it's three plus three, six, all living at the same time in the same place at Lightning Ridge 100 million years ago. This is the first time in Australian history we have this uh, moment where all the mammals we've found in the fossil record are monotremes. Mm -hmm. They're like the platypus and echidna, mm -hmm. and there's so many of them. It's a whole world of monotremes at this moment in Australia. So tell us about the echidna puss <laughs> and uh, the other monotremes that you've uncovered. So these three, one of them is something that I should explain. This is basically just a t term of endearment, mm -hmm. yeah. calling it the echidna puss. This is a, a, a largest monotreme, a bit bigger than a platypus. It's got some characteristics that show that it's becoming something like a platypus. Remember, this is a long time ago in the fossil record. But it's also got a narrow snout and jaw that reminds us something of an echidna. So it's not exactly the ancestor of all the echidnas and platypuses, but it's something that early in the record kind of foreshadows these different weird anatomies that we have in the modern species. So not direct ancestors, as you say, but what does it tell us about the modern day platypus or echidna? It gives us this really important snapshot of how a platypus became a platypus because another one of the species is the first, what we might call sort of card carrying platypus. Mm -hmm. and the, we have the echidnopus and we have an early platypus. And then we have a, a smaller animal, a very cute little monotreme um, with smaller teeth. So these three new ones together paint this picture of what, where did the monotremes come from? How did they start to establish these crazy anatomies that mm -hmm. we know today? Uh, and how, uh, for the first time, we can ask that question, how did they all make a living living together in this same environment? Yeah. So yeah, a lot of questions uh, to be answered still on this, but researchers claim this was an age of monotremes. Do you agree with that? I think so. Um, it's definitely our first glimpse mm. into, again, a window in Australia where we see six mammals, all of them monotremes at 100 million years ago. It gives us a clue, something really important clue about Australia, our deep past and you know how our mammals came to be. Age of monotremes, I like to sort of call it a world of monotremes too, because there's no question about it. If you were beamed down in a time machine to that moment in a, a forest in Lightning Ridge and you saw all these creatures, you would say, this is a world like we've never seen. Mm. And is that being challenged though, or is it just that other scientists believe there's not enough evidence as yet to, to claim the age of monotremes? Yeah, I think there's uh, so much evidence that we need mm. to paint a fuller picture. But uh, um, that comes in as natural in paleontology, yeah. where often we have to be detectives piecing together what's happening in the landscape, what's happening with evolution um, from really small pieces of teeth and bone. Yeah. Now this sort of really energised the team. So what happens next in terms of the, the studies that will c come from here? Look, uh, we are often at the mercy of the fossil record, mm. of course. You know, what gets found and when. But um, the team based up at Lightning Ridge, led by Elizabeth Smith and her family and, and others, um, they know that this site in New South Wales 
uh, is something that's going to continue to yield. Mm -hmm. And this is going to continue to be a really important fossil site. If they can keep drilling down, they're going to find more things that help us tell amazing Australian fossil stories. Professor Chris Helgen, Chief Scientist and Director of the Australian Museum Research Institute. Thank you for coming in. Pleasure, Gemma.